Okay guys, this video in particular is about integrating your SMTP provider into ClickFunnels so that ClickFunnels can send emails on your behalf. Hi guys, this is one of almost six plus hours of videos I've added in my Ultimate Guide to ClickFunnels course. In the course, I cover everything you ever thought you wanted to know about ClickFunnels, including an introduction to ClickFunnels, the ClickFunnels layout, including funnel editor and email editor, any integration you would ever want or need to use with ClickFunnels, from payment processors to autoresponders to analytics to the Facebook ad pixel. Plus, I also cover the 22 different funnels that exist that could be giving your business the foundation it needs to succeed. And I cover exactly how ClickFunnels fits into your business. And any course about ClickFunnels couldn't be complete unless it covered how to use other people's products to do affiliate marketing with ClickFunnels. I sell this course for $197 on cfultimateguide.com slash ultimate guide to ClickFunnels course, but you can see how you can get this course valued at $197 for free when you sign up for ClickFunnels today by visiting cfultimateguide.com slash free 14 day trial or by clicking the affiliate link in the description below. Thanks everyone, and good luck with your funnel and marketing efforts in your business. So we're gonna get into that right here, and of course we'll start off from the dashboard. Come over here, the settings column, uh, the settings navigation, and then click SMTP settings. So to add an SMTP integration, if you need any help, you can come here and click on SMTP email settings and uh, that ends up opening this page right here and this is some of the SMTP providers that you can integrate into ClickFunnels. Now there are several other SMTP providers that you can integrate but uh, this is um, a short list of them. So uh, let's integrate SMTP with SendGrid into ClickFunnels. All right and um, I've already done this a couple times so we'll just get started here. So uh, the integration name, I'm going to call it SynGrid, and I did, I did an analysis. I'll just mention real quick, I did an analysis between these four options right here, and it seems like based on the uh, number of emails uh, that you have to send, the, the number of contacts that you have to send to this one looks like uh, the best price option given these options right here. So SynGrid is what I'm integrating, and um, we'll call this SynGrid specifically, bradleygsmith.com and we'll say the from name it's me but we'll call it um, contact at Bradley G Smith and SMTP server and uh, URL URL is going to get that right off of this page right here and need to make sure I get it exactly right SMTP sendgrid.net And based off of that page, I also know that it's port 587, and then I have to use my new username and information in order to log in. And the SMTP domain is here. And let's see, and then there's a footer you must include in any email that you send for a business. It must include an unsubscribe link, so that gives the user any user the option to unsubscribe whenever they receive your email it also has to include the address of your business or the address that would be sending the email it's just part of is part of the law i think it's part of the can spam act so i have all that information here in order to include your unsubscribe link that would speak directly to your smtp provider you must include this hashtag, unsub hashtag, and you include this link just like there's a href equals and just include exactly like you see it here. So you can pause it if you need to, to look at that information. And uh, now we will go over to SendGrid and log in and uh, get going to integrate this into ClickFunnels. So in order to integrate this into ClickFunnels, we're going to log into SendGrid.
and from here we have to do two things in SendGrid. So this is the dashboard, but we have to go to Sender Authentication and Mail Settings. So let's do the Sender Authentication piece first. Notice already have a couple of other domains set up on here, but we're going to add the one that we're working on right now, which is bradleygsmith.com. If your DNS host is not listed here, that's fine. Just click other and then just put in here which one it is. Let me double check, make sure they don't have HostGator here. Yes, they don't have one HostGator. And then I'm going to say no on what would you like to brand the links from this domain? And then we'll say this is bradleygsmith.com and the advanced settings here and use automated security and then we'll hit next. And last but not least, we'll say copy. Uh, then we go over to HostGator. Again, I'm managing my DNS inside of HostGator, so I log into HostGator and click on Advanced Zone Editor. Select my domain name that's already in there, and then I have to start adding that information that we got from over inside of SynGrid. So I'm just copying and pasting over into here. So uh, the C name field gets the C name, the value field gets the C, uh, what's actually the value here. So I had that record and we will verify all these settings so that we will know that we have set it set up correctly here in just a minute. 14400 is the number of seconds. Time to live is a TTL stands for time to live. And that simply means how long a, a, a note on the internet should cache this particular domain name so it's completely like irrelevant to us right now in what we're doing we're just going to put what is normally there for all the other records so and then i got one more and we'll put that c name and then 14400 just to keep it consistent and one more time all right we've got them added successfully they're down at the bottom, and uh, so we got that piece set up. Now we have one more thing to do, and uh, of course we'll verify them here inside of SendGrid. Good, it says it worked. We're set in return to sender authentication. Now I can see that BradleyGSmith.com has been verified. That means they have talked to my DNS provider to confirm that, and uh, then we also have to go to mail settings, and then this option here, 100 event notification, we have to put the SMTP hook from ClickFunnels, the web hook from ClickFunnels. So that is right here. We grab the, that link from ClickFunnels and the SMTP integration page. And sorry, I'm trying, trying to find SynGrid. Here we go. And then we just paste that right here. Once we start editing it, we paste it and then we can select these options. We want them when they're dropped, delivered, unsubscribed, marked as spam. We'll test it and we should see a confirmation. Yes, sample event not notification will be sent to your endpoint shortly. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna say that's good for now. All right, we're good there. And then we'll do one more thing on the ClickFunnels side. We'll verify the email settings and this actually talks to SynGrid. SMTP username or password is invalid. Let's try changing it just slightly and we'll edit that one more time so we can confirm and verify. All right, I have to log out and make sure I have my correct information to sign in with. Log. Log in. <clears throat> yep. This is where I'm going to make sure my information is correct. Okay, everything looked good to me and it was good. So I just hit it one more time and uh, I hit verify email and it worked. So I'm gonna hit save SMTP integration and we're all set there. So we get a notification from ClickFunnels. The SMTP was set up correctly and that's basically it for SMTP. 
now where this is used inside of ClickFunnels, this is used for Actionetics. So if you have the $297 plan, uh, this is good for your autoresponder. And it's also good for, as I, as I understand it, for the funnel. If you open a funnel, and I'm just going to open one that I already have, and then you go to automation. So you've opened the funnel and go to automation. This is where the SMTP comes into play for you. So you can add a new action or add a new email. Adding a new action would be uh, once the user has taken an action, for instance, they've submitted a form which includes their email on your funnel, then you can immediately add them to an action. And I've added them to an action that I have here, an autoresponder list within, um, within ClickFunnels. And that's because I have the Actionetics plan, but if you have an outside, uh, outside autoresponder and you're on the $97 a month plan, totally cool. You just come in here and just say, add new action, and then you select the integration. Now we're gonna get into the autoresponder integration in a minute, but the uh, you would select right here at your external autoresponder integration, and that would put them on the email list for your external autoresponder. Now that's not the same as your external SMTP, but sometimes they're with the same provider. Now I'm going to go through the process of setting up an autoresponder with you guys, and I'm gonna do that through Active Campaign, and I'm going to do that through Aweber. So I'll do that with two of them so you guys can see both of them, but uh, we'll see basically how to add a user to an autoresponder outside of ClickFunnels. Also, the SMTP comes into play here if you want to add a new email. So you come in here and you click add a new email, you choose your options, and then you say, oh, I wanna use that SMTP integration I just added to send off this email and they recommend sitting within the last 30 days, I'm gonna send this to everyone and I'm also going to send them this specific email. So here's the one I just dropped in here. I can edit it if I want to and the subject line ended up being my, my uh, email address, which is incorrect when I say test email after a form submit after an email form submit. And then the other option, the other thing here is the email delay. Uh, so you can send it out immediately after they submit the form or a day after or a few hours after. So there's some options there. You can delay it and that could just be a basic email. But then you open the editor and you can send a quick email or modify the email that you've already selected. This editor is just a little bit different than the funnel editor. It's a little bit more simple, uh, but there's not a whole lot that's different there. You'll see the options that I have when I click. These are a pretty good options, but that's because the email editor has to be a little bit more simple because not all email editors accept all the different types of HTML that a funnel would, that a web page would have access to an email. Uh, most uh, major email providers don't have access to being able to, um, or should I say um, major email uh, systems don't have the ability to read the same HTML that would be on a web page. So the options that you have here are a little bit more limited in scope and that's why this editor is a little bit different but that's basically it that you can send an email immediately after and that's where if we're uh, looking at it, this list right here again i'm on the click funnels page the pricing page i'm looking at 97 297 right here you have an option to do an smtp integration if you have the 97 a month plan and you have multiple options for smtp if you do the 297 so that's where it would come into play is is on the email send after submission of uh of a particular form on your website so that's it i'm going to remove this email that's it for this video the integration video for smtp i will do an integration video for autoresponder and we've got a couple more integration videos coming up specifically related to payment processors and a couple of other items Let's see, payment processors and Zapier. So that's it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.